Ray Urias with OP Noobs, PC Gaming by PC Gamers here in San Antonio, Texas, covering PAX South. I'm with Matthew Queso Niederberger of Muse Games. Matthew, thank you for having us. Thank you. A real pleasure. We're looking at Guns of Icarus Alliance, the new expansion. Uh, introduce us to Guns of Icarus for those uh, less familiar. So Guns of Icarus is a uh, airship steampunk combat game. Uh, it's got PvE and PvP components. You and three friends jump on an airship, team up with other airships, and try and take out whatever whatever's shooting at you. How long has it been in development? Uh, so Guns of Icarus has been in development probably six, seven years now. Uh, we originally had just a PvP component, so it was just flying against other enemy airships. And now we've expanded out to PvE modes where you're flying missions, you're trying to defend your base or survive waves of enemies. And you fly with your friends either just on your airship or fly with a couple different airships all trying to accomplish the same goal. Squads of four, right? Yeah, so every airship takes four people and then you can have up to four airships on a team. So I understand here that you've got a setup cross-platform, is that correct? Yes, so what we're showing off here today is cross-platform play between PC and PS4. So we've got two PS4s on the end and two PCs right in the middle. Uh, one thing we're really proud of, we managed to get cross-platform voice communication working. So it's a very communication-centric game. If you're not a well-oiled machine, your airship's going to fall right out of the sky. So making voice chat work between platforms was very important to us. And we're very proud to say we got it working. What was so difficult about making it work? Uh, well, originally our game relied on Steam for its voice solution. And so obviously we don't have access to the same APIs on PS4 that we do on PC. And if we tried to use a PS4 voice solution, it wouldn't work on PC. And so we actually, our networking middleware, uh, Photon, uh, had a new product that allowed us to run voice chat on both platforms through our own servers. And that let us use, voice so use a voice solution that worked between PC and PS4. Nice, and has that resulted in an uptick in activity on uh, platformers? or platforms, uh, consoles? Uh, we're not yet out on PS4. We're going to be out quarter one this year. We're just nailing down a release date right now. It, we should know like next week. Uh, but once that's out, we're really hoping it'll get a lot more players into the game because it will be all one tight-knit community. We're really proud of how much our, we interact with our community, and we're hoping we can keep that up with PS4. You were a member of that community. I was. I started out way, way back as a beta tester. Just, we found this game online. I have a friend who really likes airship games and we're like, cool, airship game, let's go play it. And so I met some of the devs because they were running the betas. And then I just kept talking to them. They brought me on as a community ambassador, just in a volunteer position. I became a moderator. And then when I was in college, I studied game design development. They took me on as an intern. And now I work here full time. Sounds like a dream come true for everyone. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It took, you know, I've put in a lot of work, they've put in a lot of work, and we're trying to build something we all love. And it shows, and the community is so receptive to it. It's, it's got high engagement, as you stated. Very interested to see the cross-platform functionality kind of come together. That's sort of the direction of gaming in general in the next couple of months, I guess. Yeah, we're really hoping that uh, all our PC and all our PS4 players just make this community even bigger, even better, and try and make this, you know, as much fun as we can. Guns of Icarus Alliance. Keep your eyes out for that Q1 2018. It's been a real pleasure. Thanks for having us. Thank you.